home. Oh, okay. Story time, then movie time. Yeah. Then you go home, then you get some stamps. And you get some stamps. Bye. Bye. Love Bye. you. Good luck. Good luck. What are you playing? We're trying to find our frogs, but I have the good idea to play school. Cool. Love you, buddy. Love you. Heading in for the evening hunt. I didn't go this morning. Just too much going on and had to do some editing and whatnot. Global found saw a nice one this morning though. He's gonna go back in there and try to get eyes on that deer again, get an arrow in it. I'm gonna go to the piece of private I have that me and dad uh, kind of looked at it a handful of blogs ago now and there was an oak tree falling real well So I had to get a south wind to go set there. I got that tonight. So I'm gonna go ahead in and sit there Still hot. Oh man, my truck is 93 right now Whew. set up got my public land set up but I don't have like a good setup for when I come up my private in spots I already have a stand in kind of a pain in the butt going back and forth you may be thinking man he's hunted this farm a lot what the heck I love this farm is where I grew up hunting. It's what kind of I learned to hunt. I used to hunt with my grandpa a lot. He's been gone for a while now, so I don't know. Just sometimes I almost would rather kill a nice buck here than on public. <laughs> Just nostalgic to me, like to the max. Look what I just found. But this could have been the culprit of some EHD, but really nice eight pointer. Young one, but could have been a good one coming up here soon. I wonder what happened to him.
is the end of my hunt for tonight. Got some good news. Gary shot one. He's not sure about the shot, so we're gonna go and review the footage and stuff. He just didn't didn't get a good eye on it, he said, so he's nervous. But we got blood on the ground again. <laughs> Hopefully this one turns out better than Zanks. All right. Let's I, go look at it. Sorry, All right. Sitting. Here's the chip. That's okay. I mean, that looks good to me. It's pretty tough. Yeah. To, uh, it's like high shoulder to me. Yeah. Like I went mean, in man. the shoulder and like, yeah. And he, but he stood there and he was like hunched up with his leg like. Uh -huh. So I thought, oh, did you see him lay down or no, fall? Or? No, no. How far could you see him? I don't know, probably 80 yards. And then he got down in some thick stuff. And then when I got out, I had to actually literally walk by. You didn't jump him or anything? You didn't hear no. anything? I bet no. he's laying in there dead. That's a dead deer. It was probably a half hour before he even. Uh, that that's a dead deer. We're going to find that deer. Uh, we'll see. Tonight I am going into a hub system. I've been wanting to hunt, but um, I don't know what's going to be on these. There's cameras in there too, a couple of them, and I don't know what's going to be on them. It's basically like I did last year, check them on the way in and, and throw a sit at it. and, and uh, <clears throat> There was a, a, a buck bed that we did a video on, Josh and I, in spring that we found and hoping that that buck bed is being used. So literally I'll be, in essence, hunting that buck bed um, in hopes that somebody's home, somebody big enough to put my tag on anyways. So, yep. <laughs> Look at that. That is one scary looking damn snake. Wow. Is that... I'm following this drainage up and yeah. Come across that thing. I don't like it. So I checked off uh, the camera. It's actually literally right in that pine tree right there pointing down at a scrape. So, here's the thing. I'm coming down this drainage here. I literally, without crossing a trail, can go and check that camera and bounce back in. And staying scent free as possible in that spot. So, um, so yeah. You do these kind of things, especially in Indiana here, where you got these hills and these drainages. You use those drainages to your advantage. I know some of them could be a pain to uh, actually um, walk in because there's a lot of fall and stuff. But uh, some of these are like a corridor, man. It's just it'd be foolish not to use it. So <clears throat> I'm at a area here where couple drainages come together just so we're at a camera and uh, when I was in here this spring I followed, uh, followed a nice rub line that came up from <clears throat> up from the hub and worked its way all the way down and from here it crossed the creek and I'm not sure where it went from there because uh, I didn't see any more rubs after that but um <clears throat> I used the brick bottom to access this and uh, I didn't leave any scent anywhere and my scent is actually blowing right down towards the creek. Seeing plenty of deer in Indiana. I see another one. It's a 
about the shooter, about the shooter, shooter, shooter. I was hoping he would go down already, but... Thank you. Well, how you feeling, Gary? Nervous, always, as usual. Yeah. You always second guess yourself, or I do anyways. But the video doesn't lie, right? Yep. Yeah, it does sometimes, doesn't it, Zank? <laughs> it can be deceiving. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Nerves are setting in. Yep. I'm gonna stay in back because I don't see red very well, but I'll stay on last one or something. I say me and Gary just inch our way forward. end up tracking that deer for about six tenths of a mile before we hit a property line and at that point in time we kind of decided to back out and try to get permission from the landowner this morning and that didn't happen unfortunately there were some signs that that deer may have been hit up higher than we thought and looking back at the footage it kind of looks like maybe it was a bit higher than what we initially uh, thought and maybe Gary got up uh, above everything kind of that no man's land area the deer was kind of taking a route that would suggest that the deer wasn't really fatally wounded he was kind of going up hills and kind of jumping over logs some pretty substantial logs and kind of acting just like a deer would act if he was fine so gary went this morning and tried to knock on a door to get permission to to go onto the the private land and unfortunately nobody was home and we can't find a phone number um so that's a humongous bummer hopefully the tone of this vlog changes uh, real soon because that's two nights in a row we've had heartbreak. I want this vlog though to be as real as possible and and kind of the realities of deer hunting this week have been bad luck and uh, some some misfortune is what it is. Tomorrow though, tomorrow's vlog, it may be an awesome one. So stay tuned. Talk to you guys tomorrow and good luck hunting. <laughs>